Hey everybody, this is Dark Slayer, and you are watching Dark Slayer TV, and I'm casting fan game number two sent in from our very own Mr. Zergalot, spawning up here at the top left of Blackwater Gulch as our red Terran. Uh, Mr. Zergalot playing Terran. And over here on the top right side of Blackwater Gulch, we have our blue Protoss fighting in the blue trunks, Gerald. Uh, now this match was sent in straight from the Bronze League. This should be a very, very micro, macro, heavy, intense battle. Oh my, we are going to be seeing some serious gameplay right here. And uh, as you can see, Mr. Zergalot actually going to be walling off versus a Protoss, sending that SCV down a little premature, but uh, this is Bronze League. We need to go a little easy on him. And, uh, most Terrans will not wall off versus a Protoss because you can get these supply depots and barracks easily sniped. Over here in Gerald's base, we do see doing the standard chrono boosting out those first few probes, getting as many out as possible before getting that gateway down. Probably going to see the gateway around 14, 13 supply. There it is, going to be getting it up on 12 supply a little bit early. But uh, this is Bronze League. We cannot be harsh on these players. They are still learning. Maybe some even a little inactive. You never know. And uh, the barracks is going down on 12 supply for Mr. Zergla. Up here we do see the refinery does go down after the barracks, so we shouldn't be seeing any too heavy tech builds. Um, letting the SCV get by there, Mr. Zergalot. You need to keep that SCV production going, my good friend. Sending this other SCV down right now. Going to be throwing down another supply depot to complete that wall off. Keeping this probe that Gerald has just sent out to getting in his base and seeing what he has going on. And uh, Mr. Zergalot yet to send out a scout. Um, we're not sure. He's actually not sure where Gerald is quite yet. And uh, double gateway before the cybernetics core. This is... Um, definitely not standard he could be going for some early zealot pressure that would be a little more standard and that probe trying so hard to get in however this is a complete wall mr zerglot knows his walls off and uh did not let that probe get in and once again very very little scvs very little needs to get uh, more scvs rolling the marine is out gonna start shooting away at that probe making sure that probe cannot get in and uh, Spoy Deep and get down, let that SCV get back in over in Gerald's base. We do see that uh, he does have around, uh, he did have about 200 minerals there for a second, but he is pumping out zealots, lots and lots of zealots. So this does seem like it's going to be a very, very zealot heavy build going for that early pressure. And uh, oh, what do we have over here? Gerald plopping down a pylon right outside of Mr. Zergalot's base. Um, I don't know if this is for. Proxy Zealot's going to be getting that warp gate technology, but he does not have that cyber core. However, he did throw down a pylon and a forge. This is very interesting. I've never actually seen this kind of a build come from a Protoss. Um, getting those early Zealots, even throwing down a forge and uh, sending that Zealot over here. He is going to be sending it over to Mr. Zerglot's base. And uh, But uh, like I said, Mr. Zerglot does have this wall off. He does have these Marines coming out on the field, even going down a reactor to get more Marines pumping. And uh, two more barracks. So we have a three barracks opening from Mr. Zerglot before even getting out that factory, which was a smart play. He's seen the double gateway. He said, I don't really have the time to do 1-1-1. He knows he needs to get out those Marines to defend from this early Zealot pressure, even throwing down an additional pylon, because two proxy pylons is always better than one. Ooh, and there we go. Gerald throwing down a cannon right here outside of Mr. Zergalot's base, going for a little bit of a contain. A Zealot Photon Cannon Contain. This is something I've never seen before. And finally, getting that Cyber Core out on 35 supply. Even have a Zealot sitting in the base. And uh, he is keeping up on that pro production. That's very good if we look over in the Units tab. We do see that it's 25 probes, 216 SCVs, however, with that help of that OP mule, we do see that uh, Mr. Zergalot's resources are probably about even with Gerald's, I wouldn't say perfectly, but uh, back over in the production tab, we do see that stem pack is on the way. Now, hold on, let me go over to Mr. Zergalot's vision here. Can he actually see this? No, he has no idea Gerald is camped outside of his base, he has not scouted it. Back over to everyone, we do see that more and more cannons are being placed down and more results are showing up. We do have the warp gate technology just now starting for Gerald. He has three more zealots sitting in the base and throwing down an additional gateway. Back over in Mr. Zergalot's base, we do see that he has dual reactor getting 
um, Riot Shield and Stim Pack and pumping out those Marauders. And here we go. He's get, looks like he might be leaving the base here. He did load his plate depots, and there they go off. And they're going to go right into these cannons. He needs to be careful. He needs to run away. Micro away. Micro away. Marines are going to go down. The Zealots are coming up. The Zealots are just going to start slicing away. He needs to walk away from the Photon Cannon. There we go. The basic Micro going to start sniping away at those Zealots. And the Photon Cannon starts sniping away at the Marines again. He needs to stay away from this cannon. However, the cannon does go down. The Zealots are coming back up here. However, Mr. Zerglot does have basic Micro skills. He's trying so hard. No, he's not microing away. The Marauders taking so much unnecessary damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we do see that the Zealots are on their way with two sentries now on the field. We do see that Warp Gate Technology is about halfway finished. Even the sentries now making their way across the field. And there we go. He's running in, going to be trying to take out this pylon, bad pylon placement. However, Gerald is now supply blocked, and he did throw down another pylon over by the rest of the cannons. And now here come the reinforcements. The sentries and the Zealots, and the, he needs to start running away. He needs to micro these units as best as he can. He needs to get these additional units down here to help. And uh, as you can see, the stim pack and Riot Shield is almost finished. Is he going to do it? No. He's going to stay outside that wall just so he can get the support fire from those. However, a Marine inside the force field. We have a Marine inside the force field. And now he's going to start trying to snipe away at that supply depot. However, they are they were stemmed and they are taking massive damage to little sentries using their ticklers trying to kill that supply depot. But it just wasn't enough. And a lot of units wasted right there. That was not worth it in the slightest. We do have another pylon going down for Jill trying to continue this contain. Back over in Gerald's base, we do see that warp gate technology is finished, and he's just now getting these into warp gates. Two more zealots in his base, and uh, lots of probes, lots and lots and lots of probes. He should be going for an expand. Ooh, he did. We do have a ninja expand for Gerald at the bottom right, and uh, we do have tons of cannons outside that contain. Not very good. Here we go, Mr. Zerglot going for a second wave of attack. Is he going to bomb nurse the cannons? That's the question. Does he want to waste the units to kill off these cannons? He's going down here to the south side. No! He starts to attack these rocks. He's going to go for the destructible rocks. Will Gerald see it in time? If Mr. Zerglot does kill these rocks, as you can see, he will be able to leave. Go down this ramp to the right and up straight to Gerald's base. That's not very good for Gerald. He's wasted a lot of money in these cannons right here. He's got three sentries sitting here. That's a lot of gas. However, to be fair, Gerald is not spending gas as he is doing that contain. Plus one is on the way for Gerald. Melee attack. And here goes these units making their way across the map. And uh, more, more gateways now for Gerald. Going for a very, very, very... like I don't even think one base can support six gateways. I really don't. And uh, we do have a Twilight Council even going down for them, some additional upgrades. And here we go. Mr. Zerglot's unit's now halfway across the map, almost to Gerald's base. And uh, they're making their way up the ramp. Gerald is going to be in such a bad position unless he does some moving, maneuvering around all right now. As you can see, Mr. Zerglot even has his factory on the way with the tech lab. And here we go. Here goes the engagement. We're again going to be trying to take out this pylon. There it goes. Three gateways. It was an Artosis pylon. And now all these zealots are going down. Look Look at that four gateways unpowered gonna start sniping away at all these pylons Gerald's base is just slowly powering off second by second as you can see this cannon's almost done however it was not canceled and the cannon did go down that was 150 minerals wasted and that zealot's not gonna be starting one over here while the zealot sits around it's looking over here off the cliff he doesn't want to see all his friends dying however he does go down and now the pylons are down all the buildings are shut off for Gerald as you can see, we look over here, he's going to try and start rebuilding as fast as he can over here in his ninja expand, even throwing down some cannons. And uh, Protoss level 1 weapons was stopped. As you can see, it was almost halfway finished, but with the killing of that pylon, it did go down. And now all these workers are being slain as we speak. All the poor probes, not told to attack, but instead are told to move. And half of those probes were just running around being slain. And uh, as you can see, Mr. Zerglot even stimming to take out these buildings. I'm not exactly sure why, considering all these units are almost dead now. And here come the sentries with their ticklers. Will they be able to do enough damage because they were stimmed so much? And one rotter goes down, even stims again, and two marines go down. I've never seen three sentries do so much damage. However, it wasn't enough. There's three marauders left racing in his base, and as you can see, uh, Mr. Zerglot knows something's wrong for he isn't leaving the game and his base is empowered. He's going to start scouting around the map trying to find where Gerald's additional base is. It's 53 supply to 10 supply right now. Gerald in a terrible position, spending way too much money on this contain. It just was not worth it, even sending this probe down now. He's doing his everything he can. Look, he's not even building probes. He needs to get probe pumping out of this nexus right now. He needs to start. It's even got 100 chrono energy. We go up here. This one has 100 chrono energy. Trying to build probes out of 
of this base. This is a terrible idea. What are you doing, Gerald? You need to stop. You need to, like, just focus on this base of anything. Mr. Zergla is now making his way to the bottom right of the map. Going to be going down here and taking out the rest of Gerald. He's going to see what's going on. Gerald with only one cannon, which just isn't enough. He's got a zealot now at this additional base. But look at all the forces still in Mr. Zergla's base. Almost a thousand minerals, 400 gas. And uh, Mr. Zergla needs to, like get a an expansion out right now in case this push doesn't work however that zealot's going to start sniping away at that marauder they did take out a pylon however there was an additional pylon down here keeping that uh, photon cannon up and running there you go the gateway was powered off and mr zergla is going to start sniping away at this ninja expand what is gerald going to be able to do even more probes are going to die right now that cannon is in range is going to start sniping away at that marauder but the pylon did go down and gerald leaves the game without even a gg